Hey, what's up everyone? Ashley here. Welcome to Ashley Talks Movies. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Netflix film I Care A Lot, which stars Rosemary Pike, Aza Gonzalez, Peter Dinklage, and Diane Weiss. Before I get into the full review of the film, while I have you here, do me a favor. If you like my channel and you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is posted. Okay, so on to the review. I Care A Lot, Netflix's latest film, is an interesting, at times over-the-top, dark comedy slash thriller about greedy people who do really awful things. The story centers around Marla Grayson, played by Rosamund Pike, who is a court-appointed legal guardian, and she uses her position to basically swindle her elderly wards out of their money, takes control of their assets, their finances, puts them in a home, and all of this is for her benefit, so she becomes really, really wealthy. And she's aided by her associate Fran, who's also her girlfriend, and a whole network of doctors and officials who kind of help her with this scheme. And it's really just fascinating to see just how deep uh, this deception goes. So Marla and Fran have built quite the little business for themselves, more probably the business. And, uh, but their lives take an unexpected turn when they meet Jennifer Peterson, played by Diane Weist. And her character is a type of character that is not quite what she seems. And as, um, the mystery behind her character is revealed. Fran and Marla find themselves um, getting deeper and deeper into this other world. And they get introduced to um, Peter Dinklage's character, who's also connected to um, Jennifer Peterson. And everything starts to spin dangerously out of control. This film starts off really strong and has a very interesting premise at play. It has this very punchy, quick pace to it that really drew me in. And um, it, it's just fascinating to get into this world and you're questioning how is this possible, the things that Marla and Fran are able to do with these, these elderly people. Unfortunately, the story starts to lose its way in the second half. So the first half starts off really strong, the second half kind of starts to fall apart. And in many ways, the first half of this film feels like one kind of movie, and the second half, half feels like a different kind of movie, um, just because of all the different twists and turns that happen. And so a lot of things that were set up in the first half of the movie become less important or unimportant in the second half, and um, which is a shame, because I feel like the first half of this movie is really exploring some interesting things and you know making some commentary on certain aspects of uh, the legal system and things like that. And then the second half is just like a completely different movie and things just become more and more absurd and over the top um, and, and strange. And for the most part, I was okay with the over the top elements in this film. I felt like most of it was done on purpose because it was to kind of point out the absurdity of what these people are doing because they're doing some really terrible things. Like every single person, pretty much, every single character in this movie is awful. <laughs> and it's hard to root for anybody in this movie because they're all just really bad people doing just terrible, terrible things. Um, but yeah, the second half of this movie, it just kind of falls apart. However, if the premise doesn't quite sell you and maybe you start watching this movie and you're like, I don't know how I feel about this, I will say the best part about this film is Rosamund Pike and her performance. She's amazing. Rosamund Pike is so good at playing bad. And if you've ever watched Gone Girl, you know this. And um, even though the material here for I Care A Lot is not nearly to the level of Gone Girl, Rosamund Pike is still very, very good here. And her character, Marla, as I said, is not a good person. It's, she's an awful person. She's doing terrible things. But Rosamund Pike is able to bring this level of complexity to this character, um, even if you can't root for Marla. Because again, just a terrible, she does really awful things. Um, you can still be amazed by the performance that Rosamund Pike is, is delivering. And overall, I think the acting is really good in this movie too. Aza Gonzalez, who plays Fran, is doing a really great job with her character. 
And there's some interesting elements at play. And the chemistry between her and William Pike is really, really great. Um, Peter Dinklage uh, plays this um, <laughs> unscrupulous kind of character. And I think he's doing a really great job. Again, there's some parts of his character that, uh, deal with some other parts of the movie that are a little over the top, but I think those are do it's done on purpose. Um, and Diane Weist um, does a really great job with her character, Jennifer Peterson. She's able to play off that sort of mysterious element in the beginning of the character, and I thought she did a really, really great job. Overall, I think I Care A Lot is good. I don't think it's great. Again, the biggest issues I have with this film were um, were related to the story. And again, the first half of this movie is really strong. It's really interesting things happening here. And it starts to fall apart in the second half. And there's a lot of things going on, a lot of changes happening uh, in the second half with the film. And I don't think it, it just does a good job of, of bridging those two parts together. Um, so tonally, it's kind of all over the place. Um, and you know, premise wise, it just it shifts a little too much. So those are my thoughts on I Care A Lot. It's now available on Netflix. If you get a chance to watch the film, share those thoughts with me in the comment section below. While you're here, like this video, hit the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.